This is St. Clair's uh, College. We're going to cross the street and see if there is a visible sign that tells us more information about this institution. And then we're going to walk down Aza Street. So we are at the corner of Karen Hayesod and um, I'm not sure, we'll see. This is the Terra Santa College. See the, the golden flower for the Jerusalem, the built heritage. Jerusalem, the built heritage. And here in Hebrew, Arabic and English, the monumental building, typical of Italian public buildings of the period was dedicated in 1927, served as a boys' college high school administered by the Franciscan Order. Since 1949, the Hebrew University has maintained offices in part of the building. The architect is Antonio Barluzzi. Antonio Barluzzi, very famous. This is an Antonio Barluzzi building. These uh, bins to our left are for recycling. The round shaped bin is for paper and cardboard. The strange shape is for glass, for bottles. cultural events and a symposium. And the gates here are for the Prime Minister's residence. I hope that we don't have an issue here like we had with the American uh, embassy. So we're going to just try to walk just right past. This is called Balfour Street. And Balfour Street is known to be the residence of the Prime Minister. But there are also other individuals who live here on the street, just private residents. We see this is Rambam Street. Notice that the sidewalk here is made of Jerusalem stone, like in the old city of Jerusalem. And here, see the sign. This is for a cultural tour that you can do on your own. Sfat HaRachov, it's a stories about the place that we're at. And it has a, some it has some some uh, text from a, a book, and you can see the map here tells us five different spots, stations that we can do on this um, on this tour. We are at station number four, which is Aza Street number five. So we're not going to get into the details now, just telling you that this exists. What do you think about this house?
We're on Aza crossing Arglozorov Street ahead of us. This bus number 17 goes to Mount Scopus. That means it goes from here, we're in Rachavia, and it goes all the way up to the university, the Hebrew University, on Mount Scopus. It is an Eged bus. There are different companies, different bus companies in different areas or in different cities, but they all of the public transportation, uh, all you can use the same system of payment for the public transportation, which could be a plastic card called a Rav card that you can buy at the Rav card stations, uh, and then you can fill it up at those stations or on a computer. You can get a computer chip reader. See in the bus you can get on in the back and you can scan your card in the scanning machines or you can scan the barcode if you have an app and you can pay for the use of the you can pay with your app which currently seems to be the best best system because if you use the public transportation enough using the app then you can get a discount depending on how much and you get charged like at the end of the month or again depending on what system you're using this is Aza Street in Rachavia, Jerusalem as you can see it's a influent neighborhood, a quiet neighborhood, but then a lot of restaurants and coffee shops. <laughs> Aza, of course, means Aza with an I in me is the same as Gaza with a G in English or Gaza with a I in, in Arabic. And uh, like Jaffa Street, and like Nablus Street, Shem, Shar Shem, the Damascus Gate, the Jaffa Gate, Jaffa Street, Nablus Street, Hebron Street, Gaza Street, all of these streets are named for the cities that they were leading to from Jerusalem. So currently, Coming out of the uh, Mamila. Coming from Mamila, you have Agron Street, where I had that incident with the guards at the American Embassy. But originally, Agron Street was also part of Aza Street, which we're on now. So it led from the old city of Jerusalem southwest towards Aza or towards Gaza.
There's a nice park and playground across the street. This is on Gaza Street, so if you are in Jerusalem with kids, this is a nice place on Gaza Street, on Aza Street, where you could come and enjoy this park. There's another recycling bin for papers. Delicious. And here is a sculpture that someone built in this yard of cities. This fellow, Yaron Amitai, you can see different world monuments in his sculpture. In the middle is the Senate, but there's also the Big Ben and other buildings that he represents. This is in memory of your own Amitai, who was killed in the Second Lebanon War. And here is some writing about this uh, monument sculpture, which I might come back and read during the day. It was supposed to me at night in the dark. We should do another walk on Aza Street in Jerusalem and in these neighborhoods during the day. There are plenty of interesting things to see here. Hatibonim Street. Hatibonim is named for a family of wise men in the Jewish community of Spain in the Middle Ages. Middle Ages in Hebrew is Yamei HaBenayim. Yamei, Yom is a day. Yamei is more than one, could be plural or could be many. Yamei. Habenaim is the middle. So the Middle Ages in Hebrew is called Yemei Habenaim. And there was a very important Jewish presence in Spain in the Middle Ages until the Spanish Inquisition. This is Menachem Ben Sorek Street. So he was also a Jewish wise man, scholar in Spain in the Middle Ages. Often in Jerusalem, in different neighborhoods, we will have a number of streets or a group of streets named for a certain a theme. So here in Rahavia we have this the sages, the Jewish sages of Spain of the Middle Ages. 
in Talpiot Mizrach, there are names of the fighters for the freedom of Israel who fell fighting for Israel before the state was established, who fought against the British. Here we have the sign, Givat Vradim, Vradim is roses, the hill of roses, Malcha, Minchat, and Gilo. You notice we passed by Hatibonim Street a second time and we didn't walk back and do it again. What happened was that the street circles around. So it, it enters to the right and then it has a, a half circle and it comes out again to the right a little further down the road. Here, as you can see, we could turn off to road number one to Tel Aviv, or we could go to Givat Shaul, and there's also an industrial area in Givat Shaul, or to Givat Ram, and that is where the main campus for the university is, at Givat Ram. And here is a walkway for bicycling and for... and for... Um, pedestrians and it seems to cross under I'm guessing that it crosses under the street which is interesting so I'm going to cross under using this tunnel instead of uh, waiting for the green light on the road above Are you surprised that there's graffiti in the tunnel under the road? Red, green. This looks like a mushroom. And here someone's wrote it. Maskima Letzetiti Neneshef. Would you go out with me to a ball? And here someone wrote weed. That's a, is that a drawing of a weed? I don't know, you tell me. Now this uh, jogging and bicycle path comes all the way from Gansaker. And here you have a bicycle path that you can take all the way to Emek Hatzvaim, which is the Deers or the Gazelle Park and all of this is Emek Rafaim from Gan Saker, which is near the the uh, Supreme Court, all the way down to Pat Junction. Now notice this sign, it says danger irrigation with influence drinking prohibited. Mekulchin, the, in Israel there's a, a system of marking the reused water, the, the purified or cleaned or recycled water. Israel is a world leader in recycling, reusing water. Uh, we reuse between 70 and 90 percent of our wastewater so there's a system of marking irrigation with reused water and we're there's signs of course but also if you notice the purple the purple irrigation this is this is a drip line and the 
purple colored is a sign that the water being used here is reused. So they also they they place signs warning people not to drink this water and they use the purple irrigation lines in order to warn people not to drink this water. The water is good for irrigating um, bushes and trees, not particularly for fruit trees, depending on the level of the purity of the water. There are standards of what reused water can be used for and uh, special markings to make sure that uh, people don't mistakenly drink this water. Not for drinking. This is the Israeli dance center, the Efron dance center. And this is the city of Jerusalem, center for learning safety on the roads. This is the Bnei Akiva Youth Movement. And this is a cultural and art center, Hakav Bia. Friends, that's the end of our tour for today. Share it with your friends. Write your comments in the comment section. And check out other videos on my channel. Be well.